Hey guys, it's Nicole, and I have two layouts to share with you today. Um, one of them I made for Mr. Chocho Mama's Challenge. I believe I said her name right um, on YouTube. You guys should check her out. She's having a subby giveaway. But, oh, okay, so where do I want to start? Um, first, I just wanted to show you guys my Copic chart filled out. And it is so pretty, and I love it. And I don't know why I originally did it like this. I think I thought if I colored over these numbers, it would make the marker smudge because this is printer ink. Um, but I really didn't get a true sense of the color by just, you know, swiping one line. And here I can completely see it so much better. So, like, for instance, when I colored this card right here, I was able to, like, match the colors perfectly to the paper. So, I don't know. I just love it. But, um, I'm glad to have my new chart. And in doing this, I kind of see a couple more colors that I want to get, um, to kind of complete a few areas. But, overall, I'm very happy with it. And, um, okay, so I'm going to show you the first layout, um, in its entirety, and then I'm going to, um, put it down so that you could just see some of the detail. This is the first layout that I made, and I used, um, a great deal of the, um, Fifth and Frolic collection since it has, like, a home theme, and now I'm going to just give you some detail on it. I, hold on a second, I want to um, have a separate scrapbook for the process of our building the house, and these are photos, this is the plot of land that we picked out, which is between two homes, and our home is very narrow but long, <laughs> so um, we picked this plot of land, and then this is our backyard, which is why we chose this plot of land, because it's beautiful, although someone just showed me a YouTube video of a 10 foot, um, two inch alligator that was found in our neighborhood. <laughs> so I was a little frightened about that having a one year old and a small dog, but that's a whole nother story. So anyways, um, I've been trying to just journal as they've been building. And so I called it a plot of land to build a dream. And because this is our dream home, and then this is the home address of our phone number. And these pieces are from a Neapolitan paper, and I just cut them out and put a few of the numbers on pop dots. And then this is one of those bottom strips of a paper that tell the paper name on the other side, and it says a home, home is built with love and dreams. Then I made like a little neighborhood right here um, using some wood veneers. And layered a few different papers from, um, none of these papers are from Fifth and Frolic. All of these papers are from my scrap container. So I just layered all of them. And um, I use, these are thickers. These are jelly bean soup letters, I believe, and they're canvas. And then this is the mini market collection that came with, um, what was that new collection that was like carnival themed? It's escaping me right now, but that one. And then this is a chip piece from, I believe, the Fifth and Frolic collection. I'm not really sure. Then up here, um, this is from that piece of paper that has all the Polaroids on it. And then this is a chip piece from the collection, and these are from the sticker sheet. Then I used some American Craft glitter tape, and then I'll, this is the top of, or not the top, the um, piece on the bottom that you cut off that says the paper name from an Amy Tan Ready, Set, Go paper that I got in one of the last Studio Calico kits. And so, yeah, I'll give you one last view of it in its entirety. And it looks like that. Okay, and then the next layout um, I did using my Studio Calico kit for this month, and um, I did not buy any add-ons this month. I wasn't a big fan of the kits that they had because I already had a lot of the product in some of the kits, so I only got the one kit. I didn't get any add-ons. But um, this is for, and I'm sorry if I'm saying your YouTube name wrong, but I believe it's Mr. Chocho Mama, because I know your dog's name is Chocho. Um, 
she's having a challenge and it was to scrapbook um, a date night and add at least, I forget if it was two or three hearts here, I wrote down the challenge on a piece of paper here. Um, where did I write down the challenge? Oh, here. So it was a date night, journal about it and tell the story, three hearts, two miss, and it's due by the 18th and the winnings is $40 to an online store. And it was for 400 subbies. So I'm going to go through my layout and share the story. Um, let me just give you the big span of it real quick. This is my layout. Looks like that. And then I'm going to put it in front of the camera and I will tell you guys about it. So, um, since having a child, obviously our date nights aren't as frequent as they are when you are just the couple. Um, so we decided to do a birthday weekend for my birthday and I always wanted to go zip lining. So we spent the weekend at our timeshare in Orlando and had a four day weekend and my parents took Reagan. It was the first time she spent the night away from home. And so it was like a date weekend instead of a date night. Um, but I used my Studio Calico Sunburst mitt, um, what do you call it? Sunburst stencil or I forget what it's called, screen. And I used actually three different mists. I used these three right here. Um, this one's Sherbert, Sunshine, and then Buttercup. So I sprayed those. Um, and then I used my white gel pen just to accent them a little bit. And then from the Studio Calico kit, um, it came with these little border strips or vellum strips. So I used four of them to just edge all the different sides of the paper. And I did like a primary color theme. And I have this 4x4 four four photo of my husband and I at the top of one of the zip lines. And I used um, my white gel pen to do my journaling. And so I just wrote, I finally got to do something that I have always wanted to, dot, 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 zip lining. We had an entire weekend to ourselves to spend time together. I always enjoy spending time with you. You are my best friend and soulmate. Thanks for an awesome birthday spent together. Love you. So, and this will go in my album for stuff about my husband and I. And then here are the three hearts that I used. I also have another one here from one of the die cuts um, from the kit. Then from the Shoreline collection, I had two of these little, like, pinwheel flowers. I have a few die cuts from uh, the Ready, Set, Go collection, and this up here is two. And then... I had recently showed in a rack from Joann's that I got this Factor Fiction sticker sheet. So anytime I get a kit and during that same time I get a few um, additional items, I throw them in with my kit so that I use them. So that's what I did here and I used these two little um, arrows pointing down. And then these are both alphas from the kit and it just says love us down the side. And yeah, so that's it. So. I will attach this as a video response to um, Mr. Chocho Mama's channel. And I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you're um, enjoying the card series that I'm doing. I'm trying to stay very committed to it and at least put out one card a week, if not two. Um, I'm enjoying doing it, and I have to make these cards anyways for the holidays, so this motivates me to do it and I hope that you're getting something out of it. I know my editing isn't always 100% but um, it's the best I can do in the time that I have and I think it's better than not showing you the process and just showing you the finished product. So that's all guys. Have a good night. Bye.